Masayoshi Arai is Director General of the Commerce and Information Policy Bureau in the Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry, or METI, in the government of Japan. The subject of your presentation is Society 5.0, which you've mm -hmm. defined as a human-centered society that balances economic advancement with the resolution of social problems yes. by a system that highly integrates cyberspace and physical space. To help us understand your vision, can you provide some examples of limited aspects of Society 5.0 that already exist? Yeah, for example, trading and settlement on finance. Uh, these uh, regulations would not have been such a hurdle if they were designed by data-oriented approach. Uh, we see the use of the integration fusion of the cyberspace utilization and uh, physical space utilization. Uh, also, uh, product uh, safety, uh, smart manufacturing is now ensured through uh, prior certification and the standardization. But as the Internet of Things advances, uh, when systems are connected to each other freely, we will have to consider how to secure uh, those system of systems. How does a system that integrates cyberspace and physical space come into being? Mm -hmm. What is the balance of needs and who defines the vision and the key needs for the system? There's a division called a uh, digital economy division within our ministry. And uh, they are drawing up architectural uh, design strategy. The question of how does the system uh, integrating cyber space and physical space come into being exactly uh, the same uh, what they are now challenging how to design uh, an architecture a multi stakeholders uh, both public and private sector should the uh, design regulations market models and the social norms in a horizontal relationship we understand that the government of japan has already established the digital architecture design center and that it started some projects could you share a little bit of information about those projects? Mm -hmm. One of uh, our purposes of this design center is to modernize regulation in a flexible way. In addition, we persuade the management of uh, existing industries to uh, recommend uh, young talent to join. Second is fairness, neutrality. This is to let the businesses and academias to hold active discussions uh, with a uh, uh, bigger picture. As a result of uh, these efforts, uh, Digital Architecture Design Center started with 20 members at first, but now expanded. That has now 70 members. Director General Rai, thank you so much for your time and for answering your questions. We're looking forward to the presentation on Tuesday. Yeah, thank you very much.